The Thermoworks Smoke Wireless 2 Channel Thermometer has been around for three years now, but can anyone beat it for less than $100? We'll find out coming up. If you've been around the barbecue world in the past three years, you've probably heard of the Thermoworks Smoke two-channel thermometer. It's been a staple in the grilling world for years now, and even though scores of thermometers have been released in the past few years, grilling enthusiasts are still flocking to the smoke as their go-to thermometer. Today we're going to dive in and find out if the smoke is still worthy of the title of reigning champ. The Smoke is a two-channel wireless thermometer that is built with the barbecue backyard and competition chef in mind. It consists of two primary pieces, the base unit and the wireless receiver. It accepts two temperature probes and one is designed to track internal temperatures in the meat while the other is made to track the air temperature inside your grill or smoker. This is a welcome departure from thermometers that simply track internal meat temperature. The success and failure of your barbecue cook is maintaining a consistent temperature throughout the entirety of the cook. The Thermoworks smoke is actually waterproof, but just how waterproof is it? The smoke has been rated as an IP65 waterproof rating, so it's able to withstand water projected from a nozzle. So is it waterproof? Well, not really, but if you have it outside and it starts to rain, it probably won't die. I'd still run out and protect it though. Our solution to making the smoke waterproof involves gallon zip top bags and Rubbermaid bins. If there's any rain in the forecast, we just break out a gallon bag to put the base unit in and nestle it all in a Rubbermaid bin. We haven't had any problems with water over the months that we've been using the unit and it makes it so we don't have to worry about it at all. The base and receiver are pre-synchronized from the factory, so you don't have to worry about getting the two devices to talk to each other. By just powering on the wireless receiver, you'll be seeing your temperatures from the base unit within about five seconds. The smoke uses radio frequency to transmit back and forth, so there's really good range between the base and the receiver. In our tests, we've even gotten more than the 300 feet of distance at the neighbor's house and still been able to keep an eye on our temps. If you're looking for a Wi-Fi unit, the smoke isn't Wi-Fi out of the box, but it can be upgraded to Wi-Fi by adding the smoke gateway. It's a Wi-Fi bridge that allows the unit to transmit data to an app on your phone. Hey, if you're receiving value from this video, would you do us a favor and hit that like button down below? We'd sure appreciate it. Back to the content. The remote receiver comes with a lanyard that clips onto the receiver, and I love it for competitions and heading next door for a pool party. There's been more than one time that I've gone to the neighbor's house and didn't pay close enough attention to the food on the grill, and I've gotten myself in trouble. With the lanyard attachment, I just put the receiver around my neck or waist, and I always know what's going on. There are two probes that come with the Thermoworks smoke, and it's important to note the differences between the two. The first probe is a six inch high temperature cooking probe that's made to be inserted inside the meat you're cooking. It's rounded as the probe attaches to the probe wire and it's well long enough for any piece of meat that I've ever smoked. Most of the time I could easily get away with a three inch probe to monitor internal temperatures, but there's extra length here for you barbecue junkies who like to do entire bone-in rib roasts. The second probe is a high temp air probe with a great clip. This is my favorite probe in the history of probes, if I'm being honest. It's a, it's a short little two inch probe with a clip that fits in between your grill grates to monitor air temperature inside the grill. These are high temp probes that are significantly weightier and designed better than any other we've seen on the market. We've received a bunch of units to test here at the barbecue lab and the majority come with probe cables that feel and look like they're going to give up the ghost within the first month of use. I can't say enough good about the probes on smoke thermometers. Whether you're using this in an oven, smoker, or a grill, these probes are built to last. Replacement probes are available for between $15 to $20 each, and Thermalworks has incredible customer service who will take care of you if you ever get into trouble. 
The base unit runs on AA batteries and it's what I prefer. I don't ever want to be out in the middle of a competition and have a thermometer that I can't just swap out batteries to keep going. With the smoke, I can keep the probes in the grill and in the meat and just swap out a couple of double A's in the base unit and keep on rolling. There's a kickstand built into the back of the base station and it is solid. I don't worry about my thermometer falling over during a cook and I can't say that about many thermometers. There are magnets on the back as well and they're strong enough to hold the base station to my fridge and my grill in cases where I don't want to use the kickstand. They're strong magnets and they hold the unit in place without worry. There are four primary control buttons on the back of the base unit. First you'll see an on off switch which does just as you might think. Next there's a CF button to toggle between Fahrenheit and Celsius readings. A CAL button is next, and this is the calibration button should you ever need to calibrate the settings on the unit. Lastly, there's an alarm button that's used to turn on and off the audible alert sound on the base unit. There are four control buttons for the unit on the front side, and an additional two control buttons for each channel of the temp section for a total of eight buttons. VOL is the first button, and it simply changes the volume of the beep that the unit puts out each time you press it. You can tell the smoke to sound from silent to annoyingly loud, so pick your poison carefully. The next two buttons are an arrow up and arrow down that are used to determine the temp levels of each channel. Lastly, there's a button with a light bulb icon on top that activates the backlight on the unit. I can't say enough good about this backlight. Thermometers that don't have backlights are almost worthless to me as it seems I'm always at the grill in the dark during the winter months. There is an on-off button for each channel of the alarm that turns on and off the alarm sound per probe. You can set the air temp alarm to be off while leaving the food temp alarm to deafen anyone within earshot. We like the ability to control each side individually and these buttons make it possible. The last button that has per channel control is the set button, which allows you to cycle between the high alarm and the low alarm per channel. Press once and you can use the up and down arrows to select the temp you want the alarm to sound on the high end. Press the button a second time and you can use the arrows to set a low temp, which helps you to know if your fire has gone out or food has stalled mid cook. The smoke is a Thermoworks RF thermometer, meaning that it uses radio frequency and not Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to submit signal. The RF receiver has a large LCD screen that is incredibly easy to read. There's only one button on the receiver that accomplishes many tasks. A simple push of the button will power on the receiver and it syncs to the base unit in under five seconds. A second press of the button on the receiver, once it's powered on, will turn on the backlight. Like the base unit, the backlight is one of the best in the business. When the alarm sounds, a single press of the button will silence the unit and a three second hold of the button on the receiver will power it off. Now while there are more thermometers on the market today than when the smoke came out, it's still hard to beat a unit that can transmit data 300 feet using RF signals with both grill and food temperature. The new Signals 4-channel alarm takes the best of the smoke and expands it to 4 channels, but you'll pay more for that expansion though at more than double the price of the smoke, which still makes this unit a value in a crowded thermometer market. So what thermometer are you using? Are you using a Thermoworks product? Are you using something else? Are you using something that you found on Amazon that's really, really cheap that's working? Let us know in the comments below what thermometer you're using and why you like it. We want to run a test with the Thermoworks smoke today and what we want to do is we want to do the ice water test. And so if you look at the thermometers, you can see on both the smoke and the smoke receiver, you can read the temperatures that we have going on here. So I'm going to pick them up, see if the camera can see these, but you can see how close they're tracking with each other. But the idea is we see 53 on the top thermometer, 52.9 and 52.5 on the bottom, which means we're within 0.4 degrees of each other and the same thing on the smoke receiver where it's tracking the exact same uh, Difference so we're at half a degree difference between the two probes And so one of the things we want to do today is check and see how we actually run when We put these probes in water now you might say Dave But the question is 
you've got an air probe and you have a food probe here. Yeah, you're right, I do. But the whole idea is they're both temperature probes. And if you just slide this little uh, grate clip off, these are both probes you can use in your meat. You can use this in your meat if you only need to get a couple inches deep. Uh, this one's made for those deeper cuts of meat. But they're both probes that should be able to uh, give us both meat and air temperature. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to stick it in our ice bath here and see where we get. Now you should be able to see on the smoke here how we're doing. And I can see here on the remote that on probe one we're reading 32.7 and on probe two we're reading, reading 33.4. Now remember the differences in that could just be the fact that they're not sitting at the exact same point in the water. But here I have 32.4 and 32.6 showing me that both probes are reading exactly where they should in an, ice in an ice water bath. Now I'm looking at within 0.2 degrees difference for each of these probes in this ice water bath. So the question is, are the ThermalWorks probes accurate? And I would say absolutely. So whether you're measuring air with the air probe or whether you're measuring internal temperature of food with the food probe, you know that you're getting something that is giving you incredibly accurate temperatures. And that's one of the things I love about the smoke. Now, people ask the question, is the smoke still the reigning champ for a two-channel thermometer in 2020? And my answer is yes, this is a fantastic unit. And my, the, the reason I love this unit is because of this remote. And the idea is that I have this I can take with me everywhere I go, whether I'm in a barbecue competition or whether I'm just at the neighbors over at the pool, whatever it might be, I can take this with me and I have an audible alarm that is dedicated to just my food and my grill. I don't have to worry about the integrations of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I don't have to worry about losing that connection. Um, this is a real tried and true winner for me. Now, if I'm monitoring more than more than one piece of meat and air temperature, I could always use the air, the air probe and plug it into the meat and I'd have two food probes. But if I want something bigger, I'm gonna take a look at the ThermalWorks Signals, which is their four channel unit. And uh, we're excited to give that one, give that one a run through because that one looks to be exactly what the smoke is, but in four channels, including Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. But I still don't think you can beat the smoke under a hundred bucks for a two channel thermometer that is this accurate with a separate unit for monitoring and a separate base unit. So if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you wanna come back for more videos just like this, consider subscribing to our channel because the whole idea is we wanna review products for you so you don't have to buy the lemons. You can get rid of the barbecue gear that's just junk and not worry about that. Fill your arsenal with products that are gonna help you succeed whether you're cooking after work or whether you're cooking on the weekend or at the local competition. If you wanna pick up a ThermalWorks smoke, we have links in the description below. And if you purchase through those links, all it does is it supports us a little bit as a channel. It doesn't mean that it costs you any more. All it means is that the big brands share a little bit of their profit with us so we can go out and buy more gear to be able to review for you. And we sure appreciate your support. I'm David Gafford from the Barbecue Lab, and I can't wait to see you next time right here as we review the best in barbecue gear and accessories. We'll see you then.